extinguish my spark. That option remains very much in play. I'll expect nothing less. However, I have a proposal. Join me in defeating our shared enemy. What's up, YouTubers, one and all? My name is Faithly1987, and today we're taking a look at the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Cyberverse Ultra Magnus. This is the repaint slash re retool of Optimus Prime Cyberverse, so it's essentially the same as our information. But it this is not the Battle Hammer. This is the freaking Soulless Prime's Forge. I said that wrong. Four to Solus Prime. So, here we go. Ultra Madness leads his Autobot Elite Strike Team with the mighty Four to Solus Battle Hammer. There we go. There we go. Four to Solus Prime. There we go. So, that's it. Uh, a little bit destroyed there because it's actually open. So, let's open them up and see how cool he actually is. What's up, YouTubers? One and all, my name is Faithly1987, and today we'll be taking a look at the Transformers Prime, um, vo uh, the Cyberverse Commander Class Megatron. Why am I slipping up on this final one? This is the final video. Uh, yes, yes, you heard that right. This is the final video. Why? Because I'm not doing Cyberverse after this. I am done collecting Cyberverse. I am. I have my collection complete. There is no need to get any more. Although, if there was, I wouldn't be making the video I have officially for January 24th, which, by the time that's up, this will be already up as well. So, heck with it. The point is, here is the review. And yes, you are going to be getting a whole bunch of reviews. Uh, but, um, yeah. Megatron in his view, uh, in all his glory. I take a little bit too long in the intro. On the on the front of the box, you know, I've noticed these faces, and again, really good looking. Um, yes, it's a broken box. Go to heck. Uh, got your stats on the side, and then you got the obligatory product shot plus bio that you, we barely get these days. Great and mighty Megatron has very nearly held victory in his hands countless times, but Optimus Prime has always stood in his way. Here it ends. Here on Earth, Megatron swears he will finally lead the scrap chassis of his enemy to rust. And that is it, and yes, I know, I already have a figure of this guy ready, but this is different. Why? Because this is non-battle damage, just like the Optimus Prime I recently got. So, let's get him out of his uh, back package. Which is really easy. Decepticons! Your Lord, rightful Lord and Master has returned! What's up, YouTubers, one and all? My name is Pippin1987. And, uh, yeah, I know we reviewed these two, but today is just simply a comparison video between these guys. And their battle damage versions, which are basically just someone painted that custom painted them. And I gotta say, already winners. And not to mention, we also got two Blaster for Optimus. 
We got a really good looking blade for Megatron. We got their instructions. Uh, let's get their weapons as well. There you go. And uh, there you go. Which is basically the paint is dying on this thing. It should be the blade that, that comes from the side. But uh, oh well. Um, with this we had to get to see a little bit more of just... It's simply just a comparison video. Because I did want to make a video of this. But I didn't want to make like 12 minute videos just for one of them. Because like... I get that we do the uh, re-releases for old stuff, but when it comes to this, same as that mold, same as that character, just different paint applications, that's the only difference. So, we're just going to quickly take a look at the instructions. Uh, these are probably, and it's already so ripped, that is not good. I have not even opened these, so it's kind of a terrible idea doing this, but... uh. That are you kidding me? Uh uh. Okay, now I see what you're doing. Alright. So this is from robot to from vehicle to robot. And this is from robot to vehicle. go don't want that ripping it's kind of vintage to have those instructions and then for optimus he gets a bit more thicker instructions because he is a kind of more complicated than megatron as you can tell vehicle to robot also, you got weapon applications here as well. I like that. But you can also put them on his back, huh? So, uh, we're gonna try out some of the combinations that you can do. We already know all Mechatron's combinations, so we don't really need to go through all that. So, we can apparently put them on his back, uh, on the sides, on here, and of course on his hands. So, there's all that. Alright, so we're done looking for instructions. Let's take a look at the separate paints. First of all, Megatron. This is clearly uh, what we use for like non-battle damage, or like if he's glowing with dark energy on. Which he usually is all the damn time. Uh, we can get a, a better look at his face, and uh, one thing to note is that this, since this is like one of the new, this, this is not custom painted, uh, he's a bit more looser. On the joints here, which I do not like. But uh, getting close, you can see his noggin the best you can. He he's got a better visible noggin than this Megatron. The eyes don't pop out as much here as here. Not to mention that while this is painted gray but slowly fading. This is just complete, this is the regular paint. This is custom painted, so you can clearly see the differences. Now, I don't know what he was going for when he painted this, but clearly that's wrong. It's, I mean, I unless you're going for battle damage, which I get that would be good. But the paint's also messing up here for some reason. And either that is because of... Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the silver. That's the silver that they painted on. Overall, uh, the only main difference, I would say, is just, like, how much battle damage paint he has. The robot mode really shines, especially when it comes to the back, but we'll get to that in a moment. For Optimus, he is much cleaner and a lot more um, sturdier than this Optimus. The complete opposite of what's going on here. Uh, in terms of robot mode, however, they're both the same sturdiness, but in vehicle mode, that's where it kind of differentiates. These are not, these are not as loose as this. Kind of painting a nice gunmetal gray, got all that kind of stuff. I really do appreciate how much they tried. 
uh, the only, there there is some uh, pleasantries that uh, this has over this one. First of all, the silver here is the only thing that really makes a difference, plus a little bit of that blue. Now well, here is just not blue at all. We get this painted unlike this, but um, the blue uh, blue transparency just stays. Uh, the windows are actually the same, but this guy has no Autobot symbol anywhere. This guy does. It's kind of sad. No, wait, he has it right here. Well, wait, he has it on both sides. This guy has doesn't have it on both sides. It's kind of sad. Also, these are a little bit more yellow than this one, because clearly this was actually the Night Watch uh, release. Which, speaking of which, we're gonna uh, test the weapons, see how well they fit, or like that. Like that. Or like that. No, it's all good. And yes, they do roll, so that is a good plus. And now for some comparisons that I have all ready to go. Uh, these are... Uh, already reviewed as of earlier. We're gonna bring in Team Prime first. And when I say Team Prime, I mean the complete Team Prime. Which includes dead characters. Although I'm not sure if Tailgate cons was considered uh, Team Prime at all, but... We're gonna bring in all the Autobots to size comparison. Uh, give me a moment. So, uh, since this is technically the same, we're just going to put off the side. We're just going to use Team Prime. I mean, you kind of saw it in the, uh, in my official short. Check, uh, check that out. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if I can. Yet yeah, every single time I say that, that is not possible. Also, yes, I know, I know. Yeah. Alter Madness. In fact, I should really, since these are also the same mold, I should also really go over Alter Madness in this video. Which means I will have to extend this a bit longer than usual, but you know what? It's worth it. It's really worth it. Alter Madness is the same as that transformation, unfortunately. What is fortunate, though, is that besides the fact that he has his robot chest just now, what the heck. Um, he actually does a look a little better in view, in robot mode once you get to it. Uh, sculpting here is nice and all of that. You still got the same two blaster ports for, for robot mode. Uh, just like here. No, wait, hold up. No, 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 hold up. These are different than these, so I don't think it works. However, what does work, besides uh, you seeing the entire trans uh, character line up for Transformers Prime, uh, what does work is, wait, is this a one? Uh, by the way, we're gonna bring out a little teaser, by the way. Uh, just for funsies. There you go. So, uh, yeah. That's, uh, all, uh, what was like, uh, was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only eight eight characters of tra of the Autobots by the end of the series, and sure, that's all good and whatnot. I guess we could add Knockout. You know why not? Because he was officially part of the team by the end of the series. But uh, there you go. Anyways, getting all the Autobots out from here and uh, transforming them off screen in a moment. Um, let's uh keep him there. Take that out. Uh, let's get Ultra Madness's weapon, which is the very rare uh, Forge of Solus Prime. Uh, yes, this is actually the exclusive, the elusive Wave Five Ultra Madness. And uh, if we're gonna be reviewing Ultra Madness, I guess we better bring in his other counterpart, his Cybertronian form, and uh, see a big difference. As you can tell. But uh, enough of that. 
uh, bring in side comparisons for the cons. Um, we're not going to do all the Decepticons, just the ones that I do like the most. Well, actually, that's kind of a lie. Um, so, uh, let's side uh, comparison the uh, Megatron compared to the rest of his Decepticon team that was seen in Transformers Prime. Uh, give me a moment. Bringing in the Decepticons. Gotta tell, some of them are rust, and some of them are already in vehicle mode. I, I have good news. I am actually. I got an official uh, knockout, uh, like uh, like official colors knockout, not just uh, Stinger uh, posing as knockout for now. Which still, even though the color scheme looks good, it's uh, a bit of eh, you know. So we got the entire Decepticon armada of. Transformers Prime right here, and they do quite look well, especially even Stinger, uh, fitting well as Knockout for now. I will redo this later, maybe even as a short, which I might actually do, in all honesty. I might actually do it just as a short so I don't waste too much time with an upload, but, uh, you know, who knows. So, getting everyone out of the way, I guess we can just skip straight to transformation, huh? So, yes, I transformed them all off screen because they're the exact same transformation. What's the difference? Well, first of all, these two aren't as flimsy, although they do tap in a little more loosely. Well, except for this asinine part back here, my god. Also, if you're wondering how these tab in, uh, how do they tab in? Because I know you can do it like. Or like this? I'm not exactly sure how, but you can somehow tap them in according to the instructions. Oh, like this. There's these little two holes here. You gotta tab in like that. That's how you store the weapons on the back. Does he have the same holes? Yes, he does, actually. He does actually have the same holes. So if you wanted to get Ultra Madness Blasters on the back, you can as well. Now, of course, he can also hold the same as that blaster. And it encompasses his hands, make it look like a transform, which... Again, I actually do like that aspect out of uh, the recent Transformers stuff for both Rise of the Beasts, uh, ironically, Bone Movie, and Transformers Prime, where the hands actually flip out to become weapons instead of just the hands just holding weapons, you know? That's what I like about Transformers Prime, is that the, it, it makes them more use of the Transformer themselves in both vehicle, robot, and weapons. So, uh, here, let's actually have this for real, for our Optimus. Like that, we can pose him like that a little bit. He's the same exact articulation as the other Optimus. And also, we can do it like this. And there you go. What do you, s oh wait, this is supposed to be tapped in. Why isn't it tapped in? Anyways, you see that little picture right there? Alright, take out Madness and take out this extra Megatron. You see that? That's basically Season 1's picture. I really do appreciate the design that they've done it for this. I really have. I appreciate the scaling is actually accurate for, for once for between these two. 
You can see Megatron is actually taller and that has a cleaner back. And honestly, you know, I kind of wish they did something, something with the wheels or something. Because, like, there's this big bar here. Why can't you, like, do something with this, you know? It makes the back weak compared to the Voyager. Of which the Voyager is borrows or actually is the original um, engineering for SS-32, SS-05, SS-44. Yes, I'm not kidding. Uh, in terms of coloration, first of all, he is much cleaner than this guy, first of all. Uh, he's that That's the only real thing. Also, while he doesn't have a face mask, he does. And the only difference is the back. And honestly, that's the same thing with Megatron. The uh, only difference is the back. When you take a look at this, it's all purple. When you take a look at this, there's some purple leaking out, but it's mostly black. And he's the same as that mold as him, so we really don't need any introduction for that. Size comparison goes, um, since articulation is the same as this guy, and same, same as this guy, well, they're all the same guy. It's just I reviewed him already. Why don't I need to review him again? Side comparison co with, uh, like, our new characters. Alright, let's get our new characters in. Knockout, breakdown. You know, we don't, I, we don't unfortunately have any new, um, that's like, let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. Hold up. You're getting out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Let's do a Team Prime picture. And of course, we're going to have both versions of Optimus next to each other, but you know what the hell of it. Yeah, them, there. Also, uh, yes, he can actually hold uh, hold the Forge of Souls Prime. You just got to push it in so it does fit well, like that. And yes, his arm is a little loose. So you put that there. Uh, bring Bumblebee, bring RC, bring Bulkhead. Bulkhead just fell. Come on, stand. Stand her up right here because she's the most one not usually unseen. Uh, stand Optimus back here. And then also stand uh, his Cybertron version back here. And finally, let's stand Cliff Jumper. And very, very quickly, Tailgate. And that is literally every single Autobot in Transformers Prime right there. Very, very quickly, I didn't think I would need him, but I decided last last second, heck, but luckily he is a quick transformation, unlike the commanders. So, uh, there you go. As you can clearly see, that is the entire Autobot family. Eh, let's bring in the other Optimus here for that little bit. And, uh, before you ask, yes, these do actually work with the... Commander as well. And they fit nice more snugly. They fit more snugly because this isn't painted. You can clearly see the hands are bla are blatant red. Or blatant red here. While for the paint, we have to have silver. Which, honestly, there are some things this does right. But the paint just kind of... Loosens everything in the toy, and it's kind of bad. So, there's the entire Autobot Armada for Transformers Prime. Taking everyone out. Taking him and him out. 
and then pushing these off to the side, we're going to bring in Megatron, and we're going to bring in his Armada, Decepticon Armada that was in the show. Bring Shockwave. Knockout, stand up. Everyone, stand up. Jeez. I'm on. I'm on. There's not many legions for Decepticon. Well, actually, there is. Uh, there you go. Um, there's Dreadwing. There's Gurwalk. Nah, I'm just kidding. I kind of wish they did a toy for makeshift. Then again, they never really showed his true face. So, I guess that does make a point. Uh, like I said, this is only for show Decepticons, so if there's any fan-made ones, sorry, you're not coming in, in this photo. Some transformations are kind of asinine in truth, especially for the Legion class. Well, one specific Legion class I'm currently transformed behind the screen, because... I forgot to do it before this recording. But, uh, there you go. I'm not putting it next to Breakdown. Right next to Breakdown. No way in hell. Uh, Steve, stand up, please. Thank you. Star Scream. I, you know, this is what I kind of don't like. That Star Scream has to have. I mean, I do understand the hunch. Don't get me wrong, but the hunch is just a bit too much, especially with the bend the figure like halfway. Then again, Heart Shell looks like the same. Then we have Soundwave, who is also rare in his own right. So. There is the entire... No, wait. Get battle damage in there. Let's, uh... Get his blade. And, uh... Hold his blade like the Dark Star Saber. Oh, and, uh, very quickly... Yes, this Optimus can, in fact fact, used the Star Saver, because it is the same as that peg as the uh, normal, so just place it in, like so, there you go, but, uh, stand up straight, please, yeah, there's really, that's it, that's the entire Decepticon Armada for Transformers Prime, and in reality, that's it. Should I end review like this? Or should I include every single show character? I think I might do the latter. Hold up. In fact, I might even scoot them off to the side. And make space for the Autobots. A whole team, you know? Somewhere. You know. This is really good. Should I stock them all weapons? Nah, not really. Wait that later. Put that later. Just the leaders with, the, with their weapons. Because it's needed. Why not? In fact, the leaders are going to be right in the front of the picture. There you go. Uh, take all this off, off the thing so it's not caught in the fire of the video. You know what I mean? 
And you are dealing with it freaking drops on the floor like I did just now. <sighs> My table's a mess. It really is. Put that there. Put him back there. Put her back here, like so. Give more space for the Autobots here. You know, the only thing I really uh, don't like about Ultra Madness, paint this gold, not blue, please. Paint this gold, not blue. Make it more accurate, thank you. But seriously, though, I really do like the this entire collection. Am I getting more? Only the official knockout, and if I can get him, um, Wheeljack. Unfortunately, with Wheeljack, I might have to actually get the... Um, the Sky Hammer, the Jack Hammer, I mean, Jack Hammer, not Sky Hammer, what was I think, Sky Hammer. But, um, as, as soon as we're all, all that said and done, like, okay, what now? Well, nothing much, actually. Do I, now, I actually do like this original color scheme for, for, uh, this, this kind of, more like, more so less, the season two, uh, color scheme grows on me more actually than uh, the final color scheme uh, smoke screen is at the end of the show. I it's it's the it's the racing stripes in the thirty eight that just stands out to me in truth. It really does. Put RC right here just for more stability. Bulkhead, stop falling over! I need you. Oh god, I needed that! Ah, <sighs> he didn't say anything. Quite literally, because he wasn't even on screen. But, uh... That's it. That's it for the review. Thank you all for watching. Make sure... I hate this. I really do. This is like paint plus loss of time of fitting around with it too much equals floppy. Anyways, this is why these two are superior. Besides the other two inferior, which is why I call them battle damage. And this is why these two are the superior. That is it for this review. Thank you all. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. And as always, no wait, I got one last thing for you. What he said to all are one.